This guide is to assist you with your home sleep study using the Compumedic Somte PSG system. The Somte is a recording device that will monitor your sleep and breathing in the comfort of your home. The Somte is designed to provide freedom of movement while acquiring all signals as if you were in a sleep clinic. We recommend wearing loose fitting clothing under the device and setting up the unit 30 to 60 minutes before going to bed. Your kit will contain the components to use overnight. It will include the recording unit, the interface module, electrodes, leads and snap-on pads, the nasal cannula, pulse oximeter, effort belts, alcohol wipes, preparation paste and tape. The recording unit is a white device with an LCD screen, while the patient input box is a grey unit. Your technician will have inserted the leads into the PIB. Please use the labelling on the device to follow where leads are positioned. Please do not disconnect any leads. However, if they are loose or not connected fully, gently insert the connector into the correct input as shown. The patient interface box has a range of signals required for the study. Starting at the bottom left, we have the ECG plus and minus. For the eyes, we use E1 and E2. For monitoring brain activity, we look at M1, M2, F4, and on the top, F3 inputs. On the right side, we use the EMG-R and EMG-C, thoracic, abdominal, the two limbs, the nasal cannula, and the oximeter. Preparation for the skin for the electrode application involves wiping down with the alka white pads firmly and allowing it to dry. Use the supplied preparation paste. Firmly rub in a circular motion using the applicator. Please be sure to rub firmly but not so hard to cause irritation. Please do not over exceed the size of the electrode itself. When applying the electrodes, we recommend using a mirror to assist in the correct location. For setting up the device, attach the unit as shown onto the respiratory belts. It is preferable to wear the device on the outside of clothing. The grey PIB sits on the top belt, with that belt going around your chest and approximately 2 cm below your armpits. The white recorder unit sits on the lower belt, which is located around the midline of your stomach. Tighten the belts to ensure a snug but comfortable fit. The belts you use may vary. These are the disposable white bands that have a small metal clip in them that you can feed through the band. They have Velcro attachments, and also there's a plastic clip that helps to secure it when you fold it over to tighten it. The black bands have a single strap that feeds through and clips onto the other side of the belt. Position the belt with the clips on the front facing forwards. Making sure it's not too tight. And as shown, the PIB grey unit sits on the top belt in the middle, while the recorder can be clipped over the belt or fed through the belt. With the white belts, we recommend a small piece of tape just to hold those together. The head electrodes, F3 and F4, are situated on green leads. Apply the snap-on electrode pads to those leads. The F4 goes up behind your right ear and attaches as close to the hairline, in line with the outer edge of your right eye. The F3 lead goes up and behind your left ear and attaches again close to the hairline, 
this time the outer edge of your left eye. We recommend applying a small piece of tape over the wire and onto, but not fully covering the electrode pad itself. The other two head electrodes are the M1 and M2. Again, snap on the electrode pads, this time to the purple M2 and the black M1 leads. These two leads are placed behind each ear on the bony prominence just below the hairline. The purple M2 is positioned behind your right ear, the black M1 is positioned behind your left ear. Again, secure with tape. The next head electrodes are labelled as E1 and E2. These are on blue leads. The blue E2 lead runs up behind your right ear and is placed approximately one centimetre out and one centimetre up from the outside of your right eye. The blue E1 lead then runs behind your left ear and is placed approximately one centimetre out and one centimetre down from the outside of your left eye. The last of the head electrodes are known as EMGR and EMGC. Apply the snap-on pads again to the orange leads. The orange EMGR lead is placed approximately one centimetre out from the point of your chin on the right side and connects to EMGR. The second orange lead is placed on the left side approximately two centimetres from the first electrode and connects to EMGC. Again, secure with tape. In case of facial hair, they may be in the way. So we recommend an alternate location, which is just above the hairline on either side of your cheeks. To find the correct location, place your fingers along the jawline and clench your teeth. Place the electrodes where the muscle is most active. If possible, leave a gap of approximately two centers, two centimeters between the two electrodes. The ECG is to measure heart rate activity. Again, apply the snap-on electrodes, this time to the red ECG plus and ECG minus leads. The ECG plus lead is located on or just slightly below your left collarbone. The ECG minus lead is located on or just slightly below your right collarbone. Please ensure there's minimal to no hair underneath the electrode pad. The two bands, as demonstrated earlier, are marked as thoracic and abdominal bands by their lead colours. So wrap the adjustable thoracic band around your chest and adjust to ensure a firm fit. Placement should be approximately two centimetres below the armpits. Attach the yellow lead from thoracic onto the snap-on buttons on the upper band, while the blue lead from the abdominal band goes to the snap buttons. Again, we recommend a snug and firm fit, but please do not over tighten or make it feel uncomfortable. The bands do need to stretch to show us how deep you are breathing. The nasal cannula we use to measure breathing and snoring. This will be in a disposable bag, so please remove from the bag and insert the prongs into your nostrils, ensuring they are bent towards you. 
Place the loops over each ear and slide the toggle up under your chin to hold the cannula firmly in place. Place tape over both cheekbones to unsecure the cannula. Do not squeeze the tubes flat. Firmly screw in the other end of the cannula into the port shown. Please do not over tighten. Prior to placing tape, we recommend moving the cannula around to make it more comfortable, but to make sure it does not fall out overnight. Pulse oximetry is used to measure oxygen levels overnight. This is a silicon grip that slides over any finger of either hand. Please try a few fingers to see which one feels more comfortable. The probe needs to sit on the end of the finger and make sure it is not pushed all the way through. Please ensure you do not have nail polish or acrylics as this will interfere with signal quality. The cable runs on top of your finger, along the back of your hand, with tape placed around the finger and again on the back of the hand to help secure it. It may already be connected but if not, firmly push in the other end into the PIB as shown. When the device is recording, you will see a faint red light coming through the end of the probe. The leg electrodes measure limb movements. Again, these are snap-on pads that go onto the orange limb R and limb L leads. For comfort, it may be easy to place the leads down your pants and locate on both legs, below each knee on the outer side of your leg. To ensure the correct location, Flex your foot up and down and observe where the muscle moves the most. This is the ideal location. We recommend a piece of tape over the electrode pad and then a second piece just after forming a small loop adjacent to the pads. The last electrode is the ground electrode. This is connected to the auxiliary input. This can be positioned in any convenient location. We recommend behind the left or right shoulder. Its placement must be five centimeters away from any other electrode. Now you're all connected. Starting the device, your technician may have pre-programmed the device to turn on at a set time. In this case, the unit will turn on the Somte logo will display and the device will start recording. A green status light on the device will change from flashing yellow to green when the device is recording. A second indicator, as shown previously, is the faint red light on the pulse oximeter. If you need to start the device manually, please do so by turning the device on by pressing the left power button. Once the logo appears, the screen will change to a picture of a person as shown now. Press the middle button once, and then when the start recording displays, press the middle button a second time. Again, the status light will change from flashing yellow to flashing green.
Now the device is ready to record, you may go to bed when ready. During the night, please feel free to move around and get up if required. You do not have to disconnect any wires or device itself. If you find any equipment uncomfortable, please readjust as needed. If you notice any leads have fallen off, please reapply and tape. After your test, please remove all electrodes and bands from yourself and place in the supplied bag and return to your testing centre as advised. We hope you sleep well with this device. Please feel free to review any sections that remain unclear.